Hi, so I'm going to show you uh, running a Game Boy emulator on a TI Inspire. CAS or not, it works either way. First, you have to install Jailbreak, it's called uh, NDLess. And um, it's recent, it's just been released. So, you download it and install it, and it will create a folder called NDLess. NDLS is basically the basically the program that can run third-party ASM programs, such as the demo right there. So it's a program written in C. So basically, it is a program that displays some random particles. So that's a typical program. And uh, here's a Game Boy emulator. So you have to create a separate folder called uh, whatever you want. Transfer the the emulator. Correspond to your model, CAS or not. This one is a CAS. So you run it, and uh, with uh, whatever Game Boy ROM you have installed on. When you run it, it will show you the list of ROMs what you, the ROM you have. Here I have Zelda. So I'm running it. And surprise, it runs smoothly. So, we don't have sound yet, at least. Maybe someday we will get a USB port. And, um, so you can play almost uh, any Game Boy games, I assume so. And, uh, so the keys corresponding to the Game Boy Pad is, uh, well, the arrows, normal. And the uh, escape, S right there, would be A, and tab would be B. Uh, caps would be start, and uh, clear would be select. So it's pretty much the same thing as Game Boy. And uh, you, want, you can also do some more things than a Game Boy couldn't do, like uh, change the frame rate. Um, well, hold from no frame limit, which would be that key. And, um, so you can pretty much do whatever you want and, uh, save state to the file and load it so you can save your game and res resume it later. And, uh, so for doing that, you just basically do, uh, this key, E of X exponential, and to load the key, just Power. Um, we can play with it. So it would be cats. Load your file. Name whatever you want. Just press the arrows. Navigate. Mm. And uh, here you are playing Zelda. Yeah, pretty much. Running very smoothly. Isn't that awesome? Cool, huh? I think I quit the game by doing well I'm gonna save before. So save is uh exponential, so exponential. Alright, it should be saved. And on to quit. So we be back to the file explorer. Okay. So you can see there is a the emulator, the file, the ROM file. So if you wanna play you have to actually own the game, you know. And uh, the state file, which contains the save file for the, for the game. Okay, so guys, I'm. Uh, this is the end of this video. We'll see if I'm recording uh, some other video for some other things to show you. Thanks. Bye.